Okay, everything is set. Everybody's here. Yeah, I'm able to see. Audio check. Uh, Super teacher team member, you're able to hear me? Yes. Very good evening to one and all present over here students. I can see again a massive number of students out there, some along with the parents, some along with the siblings, some dancing like Shriyansh, some dancing like uh, Arnesh. Okay, Pavni, some people are excited. Ah, that's a good thing to know. Uh, thank you so much students for joining. Today's session is going to be completely about well, artificial intelligence as such, we have been conducting this Code India Code mission for the last how many days? Can somebody tell me in your hands? Yeah, most of your regular. Only two days? Only three days? Only four days? No, we've been conducting it for five days. And today is the sixth day. Code India Code, sixth day. I would like to welcome each and every student out there, along with your parents, along with your school teachers, and most importantly, along with your friends. Thank you so much for joining. And this particular session is going to be completely on artificial intelligence. What do we mean by artificial intelligence? And what else can be done with, with AI, you know, apart from the regular thing? You know what? Today we'll be also watching some movies. And you should be telling me which movies these are. And if you have not watched these movies before, you have to make a note of these movies and you should watch these. Call your parents, ask your parents and tell them that I want to watch this movie, Mama. I want to watch this movie, Papa. You have to watch that if you are interested in artificial intelligence and things like that. So we are going to discuss lots and lots of information with respect to human brain. And just like Vidushi thinks about having a cup of tea or coffee, just like Navya thinks about you know, to do a homework or not to do. How do we do all these thinking? We are going to talk about that. Can I make a robot do my homework, Ethan? Is it really possible? Absolutely, we can do that. Yeah, there are a lot of things. Have you ever come across the situations wherein, you know, you speak something and a robot responds to you? Is it like, like Shaina says that, hey, uh, whatever the name is, name of the robot, uh, could you please turn on that fan? Have you heard about such kind of statements? What is the name of the robot we're talking about? Yeah, most of the students might know about it. Yeah, absolutely. All of you actually said that on YouTube live. I'm able to see that. Yeah, it's Alexa. Hey, Alexa, could you please turn on the fan? Hey, Alexa, could you please turn on the light? Alexa, could you please sing a song? And this Alexa does everything. That's the best part. So Alexa is kind of a robot up to a certain extent. We'll be talking about all those things. Do robots really need to have a face like Aratrika or, or, or Sia Sharma or Shardul? No, robots need not have a face or two hands or two legs. Even without that, if, if, if an action is happening without your support, robots are still present. You would have seen these vacuum cleaners in the house. They just keep moving here and there and they do lots of activities, right? I'll be talking about all these things to uh, today, students, and some of you are still joining. That's okay. Let's hear. That's okay. Let's let's begin the session. So today it's going to be all about AI. And I would like to quickly recap on what we have done so far. Code India Code is a mission, you know, to make students all across the country to know about uh, different coding styles, which could be learned very easily. And at the same time, it could also be done in a way so that, you know, it doesn't really affect your regular academics curriculum or whatever you call that. It's, it's not so tough as it seems. It's not as expensive as it seems. There are so many free and open source tools with which we can really perform extremely good coding out there. One of the examples that we discussed the other day was Scratch. You remember? right from the first day, right after doing lots of programs on Scratch, we also uh, worked on one important area called as MIT App Inventor. Yeah, apart from MIT App Inventor, we played lots of games. We played Tic-Tac-Toe, you remember? We played, uh, I think, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Yeah, we played Pac-Man, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you're right, we played Pac-Man. And did we play anything? We played a, a game in such a way that it was not part of computer, but we played about the directions. We played about North, South, East, West, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You remember, Navya? Yeah, I hope you taught that to your parents. That's great. So we are going to talk about all these things again, but in a different format. But just like I said, today we're going to watch lots and lots of movies. I'm going to talk about important areas of robotics and AI today in this session. So here we go. The first movie, I'm going to put it on the screen and you have to tell me which movie it is. Are you ready for that? Yeah, you can put it on YouTube live or else you can just speak there itself. Even if your mics are unmute mode, that's totally fine. I will be able to still hear you. Will that be fine? Yeah, here we go. The first movie on the screen. Let me see who has watched this particular movie. You know, today also we will have lots and lots of games. Yeah, but this movie which I'm going to show you is my favorite. 
if you closely notice the movie you will be able to see which movie it is it is actually written on the screen itself let me see who first finds it are we ready here we go 1 2 3 watch this aha uh -huh. come on students some of the students might know this some might watch it for the first time watch this This is one of my favorites. Kill you. Absolutely, you got it right. That's massive. Woo! Did I get the answer? Yeah, many people have already given the answer. Absolutely, this is called as Transformers. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Transformers is one of my favorite movies and I have lot lots and lots of information about Transformers. Uh I think there is one terminology used in the movie which you should all know. It's called as Autobots. You can make a note of it. A U T O B O T S. Do you know Autobots? What do you mean by Autobots, Vivek? I'll be talking about Autobots in right after some time. Would you like to watch another movie? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have watched this, but this is my favorite. Quite old but fantastic. It's it's not animated, but this is really cool. How many of you like to fight? everybody likes to fight you fight with your mom you fight with your dad you fight with your brother you fight with your sister i love fighting with my brother it's it's one of the best things we can ever do in our life right just slap him and run <laughs> then mother will come and slap you right don't do that <laughs> okay fine here we go i i'm i'm quickly going okay some of the students are saying that i don't fight but my brother beats me is it like that that's okay let's let's make some robot fight over here i would like to make some robot fight over here and i would like to let you know how it actually works so here we go the screen is full screen this is going to be blasting on the ears just make sure your audio is less 1 2 3 watch this i watch this Have you watched this movie? Okay. <laughs> Some of you have already told the answer. Yes, you are right. It's called as Real Steel. Some of you did not watch it. Just, just make a note of it. Real Steel. R E A L. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Real Steel is a fantastic movie with which you can understand how robots actually function based on the controls. I'm going to talk about controlling of robots. Hey, if you have not watched Real Steel, that's the first movie you should watch right after this session. It's really fantastic. You will understand so many different things about. what robot is and how the future is going to look like tomorrow vivek i do not know if he'll become an engineer or a doctor but vivek will definitely make a robot and fight in an arena <laughs> it's just not about fighting students it's about programming it's about logic and lots and lots of things okay here we go okay i am going to real steel okay that's great that's great perfect 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 okay one second aha uh -huh. it's a good movie and done 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 okay okay i'm going to show the third movie students watch this very carefully this is again my favorite and this is one of the best i would like to uh, show this and how many of you are you know pretty interested with the uh, you know animation movies i'm not really sure i really like ice age to a large extent I also like you know lots of movies like hey have you watched frozen I don't know I, I really like frozen to a large extent yeah okay don't enable the chat I got that here we go my my this thing is hanging here we go so I'm going to show one movie and this is an animation movie and you have to figure out which movie is this are you ready for it here we go let's go and this guy is pretty interesting uh huh I really like like this guy and 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 here we go I I just play the screen This is a perfect one 1 2 3 screen shared Watch the this. man in the mask improve your emotional state Absolutely Have you watched this Look at the way the program is getting transferred to the robot Uh-huh
Just, just an equal. expression. Data transfer complete. Watch this. Hammer fist. Sidekick. Knife hand. Okay, I'm stopping the screen share. Okay. Exactly, Big Hero 6, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yes, Big Hero 6, Baymax is the name of the robot. Now, students, this is something very interesting to talk about. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, I'm going to describe about the three movies that we saw right now. If you're really interested in robotics, this is going to be really, really very interesting, Devanjana. You know what? Whenever we talk about these three robots, there are three different types of robots based on which we can, you know, actually categorize them. The first and the most important. What was the first movie that we saw? We saw the Transformers. You saw the way the robots getting changed, right? Transformers, made, there is a category called as Autobots. All the robots or all the machines that are able to take their own decisions, nobody's need, you know, needed to control them. Such kind of robots are called as Autonomous Robots. Make a note of it. Autonomous Robots are those robots which does not require human intervention. Like Shardul does not have to say, hey, robot, get up. The robot can automatically get, get up. You know, that's the best part of autonomous robots for autonomous robots to work automatically what do you require you need to program them before itself you know just like the way we are born and we are taught a lot of things god has programmed us these robots have to be programmed before itself so that they are considered as autonomous robots did you understand yeah the second category what was the second movie that we watched we watched real steel now real steel is a robot which was actually fighting in an arena and it was actually getting an instruction from a person outside did you notice that, Benita? Somebody was actually doing this and doing that, and the robot was actually performing that action inside? Yeah, it was actually controlled by a human being. The robots that are actually controlled by human being are called as manual robots or teleoperated robots. You can make a note of it. Manual robots or teleoperated robots. There are two categories that we saw so far. First one is autonomous robot and the second one is called as manual robots. Manual robots are pretty interesting because it can be controlled via lots of methods. It could be a Bluetooth control. Yeah, you would have seen that. It could be a manual shadow control wherein you do some action. Automatically, it will also do some action just like the way we saw in, you know, or else it could even be controlled by a wire. You know, lots of things. Now, the third category and the most important, which we saw in Big Hero 6. Can somebody tell me what it is actually? Anyone? Uh-huh. It's called a semi-autonomous robot. Semi-autonomous robots are those robots which partially takes its own decision, but partially it has to be controlled by human beings. One of the best examples that most of you would have already known, like in Mars, there is a robot right now. Do you know what, what is the name of the robot which is there in Mars right now? It is actually checking the soil condition of the planet Mars and letting us know if tomorrow Benita can go to Mars or not. If tomorrow and we can go to Mars or not, it is actually checking the soil condition for human sustenance. That name of the robot. Anyone? 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 <laughs> no. Yeah, some are saying it right. It's called as Curiosity. Absolutely. Curiosity by NASA is actually take, is taking the soil conditions over there. It's a robot that's partially controlled by human being and partially takes its own decision, just like Big Hero 6, Baymax. And that's why it's called as semi-autonomous robots. Do you like the movies? Yeah, if you like the movies, then you should also remember what are the three types. Three types, autonomous, semi-autonomous, and most importantly, the teleoperated robots. Now, when we talk about all these things, now why do we uh, you know, categorize these robots as robots? Because these robots have got some kind of abilities that even human beings have. Yeah, just like human beings can walk, even robot can walk. A robot need not have a hands, legs, and you know, a head. But if it is having a head and two hands and two legs, based on the looks, a robot is known as humanoid robot. You know about that? If a robot looks like a human being, it's called as a humanoid robot. Also, there is another name for a humanoid robot, which everybody knows. Can I give you a clue? It is there in your phone, in everybody's phone. Okay, Devanjana knows that. 
it's called as android exactly you're right it's called as android just like the way we have humanoid robots we also have another type of robot called as android android robots are those robots looking at them it will not feel as if they are robots it will feel as if they are human beings now say for example we have ansh over here and ansh is looking at me and i am looking at ansh now ansh thinks that i am a human being but am i really a human being suppose if all of a sudden ansh gets angry he brings a huge knife he comes and cuts me if blood comes then i am a human being but if metal parts come then it is actually a robot have you seen such kind of examples anywhere in your life most of you would have watched this movie called as robot rajnikanth's movie robot did you watch that yeah so that guy is actually looking like a human being but he is actually a robot so the robot that looks like a human being and you can't figure out if it's a robot such robots are called as androids i hope you made a note of it this is something that you are going to teach your parents <laughs> shall we play something right now yeah so i am going to show you something yeah this is very interesting and this is very similar to how artificial intelligence work now whenever i talk about artificial intelligence students i'll take one example you know with with a game right now say for example we have himaksh no i have taken himaksh yesterday so i'll take somebody else today who is that who is that lucky fellow okay i have taken yathart many times who is that who is that okay pavni i have taken many times samira i have taken many times okay who is this guy okay okay i will take norwin okay norwin here we go okay so norwin is the person okay okay yeah say for example now norwin you should not laugh okay norwin is a small baby okay he was born yesterday only now whenever a new baby is born what do they do they they do anything that they wish like they lie on the bed they pee on the bed they shit on the bed by mistake when they are small yeah so norwin is doing all those things right now because he is a baby now when a baby is growing slowly one by one what do norwin's mother and father say you are not supposed to do this if you have to go for toilet that's the toilet and once norwin grows a little bit he understands that once norwin grows to an age of first standard or second standard first standard may did you do you wet the bed no i don't know no second standard may no yeah somebody do somebody does that i'm sure yeah anyways the point here is once you start learning once you start learning what you're supposed to do somya yeah, you go to the restroom and you properly use it the point here is you are actually learning something from from your parents your father will tell you novin that this is called as a mobile phone your mother will tell you this is called as a water bottle your father your brother your mother everybody will tell you that this is called as a diary everybody will show you examples with examples you learn things just like the way human beings learn things with examples it's called as human human learning if a robot learns things if a robot learns things with multiple examples it is called as machine learning it's not artificial intelligence it's called as machine learning so am i can a machine learn something automatically no you have to teach the machine just like your parents taught novin over here we have to teach the machine the process of teaching the machine is called as machine learning and machine learning will lead to artificial intelligence just like the way novin got the intelligence of going to the restroom and peeing artificial intelligence programs will enable a machine to think and talk and behave like human beings now did you understand now i'll show you one artificial intelligence model it's really fantastic you should see now what i'm going to do is here on the computer it's going to show me it's going to tell me how computer learns things so the first example i go with this game called as rock papers and scissors i really like rock papers and scissors on computers it's really interesting i go over here and i share the screen in another 1 2 3 here we go are you able to see this affinity.com yeah most of you would have played this okay i'm getting it here done so the moment i open rock paper and scissors you can see that there's a hand over here and there's a robot hand and this is computer watch this very carefully students yahan pe you can see that there is rock this paper and scissors the moment i click on rock 1 2 rock oh it's a tie it's a tie let's go with another option let's go with another option i go with the scissors Mhm. Mm oh my god. The computer one. It's 10. Let me go with the paper this time. Okay, I think it will come up with the rock. Yes, I won. <laughs> let's let's play the computer once more. I go with the uh, uh scissors once again. 
Okay, okay. Oh yeah, it's a tie. I'm lucky. I'm going with the rock right now. I hope it doesn't come with the paper. Oh, it came with the paper. Yeah, so it's computer is two, I'm one. Let's, let's try two more times. I go with the paper this time. Okay, okay. Oh my God, the computer is cutting me. It's three and two ties and one. Let me go with rock again. I hope I win this time. It's a tie again, I go with rock again. Okay, it's tie again. I go with rock again. It's going to come with paper. Okay, I go with the scissors this time. Okay, it came with the rock. Okay, I'm losing this. It's I'm losing this. So it's like computer is four times and I'm just one time. The point here is when you come over here with every movement of mine, the computer is trying to understand what I am thinking. So here you can see at the bottom, see how the computer is thinking. You can see that whatever my movement is, it is actually checking that. The more hands you play and thus the more data I have, the better I will be at predicting your behavior and winning. Don't believe me? Keep playing. That's what it is saying. That means with every movement, the computer is trying to get uh, you know, an understanding of how you actually behave. So every time whenever we talk to a computer, you would have seen that whenever you open your own YouTube channel or whenever you open your YouTube, Ansh YouTube will not be same as Aratrika's YouTube. Yeah, Vivek's YouTube will not be same as Ram, Ram Kumar's YouTube. Everybody is different. Why? Because based on your searches before, it will provide you the right options. Why does it do that? It understands your pattern. It understands what you're interested in. Shall we play one more game based on that? Now, this is going to be really very interesting if you are there along with me. I'm going to quickly show that. And this particular area is called as quick draw with google.com. Now here in this case, I hope you're able to hear the sound. Yeah, you will be able to hear the sound. It's, it's going to understand what I'm actually drawing on the computer. I hope everybody made a note, note of this website, quickdraw.withgoogle.com. I click on let's draw and it is asking me to draw a snail in 20 seconds. Watch the students. I go over here and I draw. I see rainbow. Ah, does it look or like headphones. a rainbow? Okay. Or toe or fireplace. I see soccer ball. Oh, I know. It's snail. Oh, I understood. It's a snail. Draw ear in under 20 seconds. Okay, ear, ear. Okay. I see squiggle. Squiggle. Oh, I know. It's ear. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, draw heart. Oh, my God. Heart. Draw heart in 20 seconds. How can I draw heart in 20 seconds? Okay. I see umbrella. Does it look like... Oh, I know. It's hey, heart. come on. It's heart. Okay. Draw blueberry in under 20 seconds. Oh, my God. How does a blueberry look like now? Okay. I, I see ear. Yeah. Or moon, moon or circle. Okay. I see potato <laughs> or cookie. I see a cookie. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Computer is not sure what that is. Okay. I try. I see strawberry. Okay. Some pot. kind of berry. I'm happy. Sorry. I couldn't okay. guess it. Draw keyboard in under 20 seconds. Ah, that's a good example. Okay. I need to draw a line. I see line. I see seesaw or eraser. Okay. Or marker. I see sandwich. Okay. I see toothpaste. toothpaste. Really? No. I'm not sure it's what that keyboard. is. I see piano. <laughs> Sorry, Come I couldn't on. guess it. Draw owl in under 20 seconds. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. I see line. Or ocean. Or ear. Or strawberry. Okay. Or heart. I see coffee, coffee cup. cup. Or backpack. Or skull. <laughs> or dog. I it see looks face. like a ghost. Or pizza. Or cookie. I don't know. I see door. Or scissors. Oh, lucky. Oh, I know. It's, it's owl. owl. <laughs> Did you see that, students? So here, whenever it asks a question, it tries to guess on what I'm drawing. How does the computer know that I'm going to draw this? It's because of artificial intelligence. How does it know about all these things? Because before itself, you have given lots and lots of, lots and lots of examples. Let me quickly show you some of the examples. I click on this option called as data, and here you will be able to see lots of examples. Now, across the world, everybody has drawn different, different things for a, for a cart, for a table, for a mat, for a bottle, for a heart, everything they have drawn over here and everything gets recorded. Whenever you talk to someone, even that gets recorded. Whenever you text to someone, even that gets recorded. Whenever you search on internet something, even that gets recorded. All these recordings are taken and it is considered as examples for teaching a machine. And these examples, when they are taught to the machine, it is called as 
machine learning can we see like there is a car pickup truck let me see across the world what people have drawn uh huh see there is one person who has drawn this the first option okay that's a pickup truck <laughs> this is also pickup truck all these are pickup truck somebody has drawn and even erased that <laughs> okay so these are pickup trucks just imagine so many pickup trucks across the globe and looking at all these examples the computer will understand acha ye hai pickup truck and based on that it will be able to guess just like the way norwin was shown a water bottle to give him an understanding of what water bottle is which is called as human learning i have to draw multiple pictures like this to make a machine understand what machine learning is did you get the picture now just like the way you know uh, whenever human being is learning something what does it lead to it leads to human intelligence and in case of machine learning it leads to artificial intelligence now did you get a picture yeah what are the two websites that we discussed right now the first one is rock paper scissors rock paper scissors what is the second website that we discussed right now quick draw anybody interested in doodle art you will definitely like this website quick draw dot with google dot com you can visit this it's a free website and you can loan lots and lots of data all these examples you know all these examples whatever you give to the computer ashwin it is actually called as if you see data yeah it is already called as data that's why they call that as data science it's not a big thing it's a very simple you you call that as examples but computer calls that as data now did you get the picture shall we go to the next point shall we make the computer understand if i'm laughing yeah if 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 computer can understand if i'm smiling or if i'm crying or if i'm angry or whatever it is okay so here we go so i'm going to show you something and this is going to be interesting right after the session you are supposed to open this particular website and before going to that particular website i have something to show you okay okay until okay i think everybody is able to look at this students watch this this is this is really interesting it's on youtube it it's uh, the video name is say hello to waymo and I'll, i'll give you one example of this you'll understand this just watch this once we spend so much of our lives driving from place to place i'm just going to stop right here yes save us a seat shouldn't it be easier and safer to get where we want to go Since 2009, our team at Google has been developing fully self-driving technology and testing it on real city streets every single day. Until after more than a million miles, we were ready to take a big step forward. In 2015, we completed the world's first truly driverless ride on public roads. just a person in a car no steering wheel no pedals navigating everyday traffic well i've never been in austin texas now i'm driving in austin texas it's a profound experience for me to be alone in a car a very important segment of my life was cut away when my vision failed and a self-driving car would give me a huge part of my life back this is just the beginning we're looking ahead to a new way a better way for everyone to Waymo. What's up sir your voice is not audible. Yeah, is it audible now? Yes sir. thank you uh students this this particular video which you saw is called as waymo the car which you saw is waymo it's actually tied up partnered with google as an organization and they made first driverless cars back in 2009 and 10 itself and they put it to practice in 2015 itself if pavni or shaina wants to go to the school they don't have to hop into a bus or a car with the driver they just have to get into inside the waymo and say take me to school and it will automatically take you to the school that's the best part taxes 
without drivers. How does it work? This work because of artificial intelligence. This car was able to understand where a bus is, where Shaina is, where a truck is, or where Rahul is. Are you able to understand? So this particular understanding happens with lots and lots of practice. And that practice is called as machine learning. And after it is ready, it can just beat anything. You can have racing cars, you can have uh, automatic trains as well. Anybody from Dubai right now? United Arab Emirates, if you're there from Dubai, the trains that are moving in Dubai, the metro train especially, they don't have drivers. It moves automatically. Do you know that? You can actually study more about it. Anyways, before like, yeah, right after going to this, now I would like to tell you how all these things work. And I would like to give you a software which you can practice right after the session. And the name of this particular area is called as, is called as Google Teachable Machine. Heard about Google Teachable Machine? This is how it looks like. So all you have to do is come to Google and type Google Teachable Machine. And the moment you type this on the top, you will get this option of Teachable Machine. Just, just click on that. It will get open something like this. And here it will clearly understand. You can see that there is a photo over here. When a dog comes, it says dog. And the lady means it's me. You can see different poses. If it's a tree, if it's wings, you can see these pictures. And you know what? You can actually make your own program in such a way that the computer will automatically understand if you are doing anything. If you, if you show a water bottle, the computer will say it's a bottle. You would have seen these options in Facebook. You would have seen these options in your mobile phone as well. Whenever we, you try to take a selfie, you know, on, on a phone, there's a square box that comes onto your face. Have you seen that? Now, this particular square box, how does the camera come to know that it's a face? How does it come to know that it's, it's Adhya's face or human being's face or Norwin's face for that matter? It understands because lots and lots of examples are given to the camera before itself. Already it was given. I'm, I'm going to show that to you right now. How it is done, I'm going to show that to you. But before that, would you like to watch one more video? Yeah, here we go. Watch this on Google Teachable Machine students. You'll get to know a lot of things here on the website itself. You can see this and here we go. People are training computers and creating machine learning models to explore all kinds of new ideas. New ways to interact. Yes. To understand the world. To play and experiment. But machine learning is pretty intimidating to get into. So we've been wondering, what if it wasn't? With Teachable Machine, we set out to make it easier for anyone to create machine learning models without needing to write any machine learning code. When it first launched in 2017, it allowed everyone to get a feeling for what machine learning is all about. But now, Teachable Machine puts the power of machine learning in your hands, allowing you to save your models, and use them in your own projects. So let's say you want to build a model to recognize you versus your dog. You just open up the site, record samples of you and samples of your dog, click train, and you instantly have your own machine learning model, which you can use in your sites, apps, and more. You can upload your model to host it online or download it to work entirely on device. With Teachable Machine, you can create custom models for all sorts of things. Using images, audio, or even poses. Personalized machine learning models for the things that matter to you. And folks have already been trying it out, using Teachable Machine in their own experiments, solving problems in their communities, or even just at home. Start creating and see where your ideas take you at g.co slash teachable machine. Awesome, did you see that? Now, I'll, I'll, I'll see the video might look a little difficult, but I'll show you how it actually works. Now it's going to be very simple. Yeah, you're going to make the same program by yourself. Oh, wow, Adhya, I'm able to see that. <laughs> okay, perfect, here we go. So let me share my screen and I'm going to tell you step by step. Watch my screen first and then you can do your own program. Are you ready for that? Yeah, here we go. So first, this is the video that we saw right now. And uh, I close this. 
And when I come over here on the top, right below this one option called as get started. Click on get started and right after getting started, you can see there are two options, sorry, three options. One is image project, audio project and post project. Let's go to audio and post a little later. Let's come to image product uh, project. I come here now. Now I'm going to tell the machine that whenever I'm happy, I am happy like e this something like that. I'm going to show that only when I show that to the computer, it will understand. Shall we do that? Here we go. I'm going to click on class one. I say you are happy. Yeah, and I'm going to turn on the web camera over here and I'm going to show. See, can you see my face over there? And generally, whenever we have we are happy, what do we do? We show all our 32 teeth. I show a little extra. See this. I click on hold to record and I'm laughing. The moment I do that, it has taken my pictures multiple times. Can you see 48 image samples are taken now? Now I come to class number two. I go to your sand. See what I'm giving. I'm giving the computer examples for it to automatically understand if I'm happy or sad. Now, right after clicking on your sad, I click on the web camera over here. I come here generally when I'm sad, if I have not done my homework and the teacher scolds me, I'm really unhappy. You know, I, I keep my hands like this. I cry a lot. Yeah, I really cry a lot and I'm going to do this. And the computer is trying to understand me. 72 image samples. It has actually captured multiple photos right now and it has understood how I actually look when I am happy and when I'm sad. Right after this, it's very simple. Your program is done. You just have to click on train model. The moment I click on train model, it will take some time and it will get trained. You just have to be patient for some, say, 15 seconds. Yeah, you can sing your favorite song. Yeah, whatever you want, you can do it and you can see that it's already ready. It's training. And then during the training process, you're not supposed to change the tab. Here we go. It's done. Watch this. See, I'm happy. And that's why it's saying that I'm happy right over here. Now, when I'm sad, I go like this and it is saying I'm sad. I hope everybody's able to see the students. Now, when I keep my hands over here and I'm happy, it's getting confused. Can you see that? I remove this and it's doing that. I'm sad. Did you get the point? How about if you're angry, you can show some expression like this and you can record that before itself. This is the point where you actually give multiple examples before itself. When we give examples before itself, just like the way Norvin was given an example of restroom before itself, he's able to understand that. And that's why it's called as human intelligence. Even for computer, wahi hai. only thing is computer is thoda sa buddhu. You have to give hundreds of examples. The more examples you give, only then it will understand. Otherwise, this is a stupid, you know, non-living thing. It doesn't understand. You have to beat it two, three times. That's the reason. More the examples, better is the understanding. I hope some teachers are listening to me right now. More the examples, better is the understanding. Yeah, that's how it works. And that's how machine learning works. And right after machine learning, I can transfer this program to my robot and tell my robot whenever Vasu is happy, dance with him. Whenever Vasu is sad, just keep quiet and sit. I can program it like that and the robot will listen to me. This is how the programs are getting transferred from the computer to a robot. Now, did you understand what AI means? Thoda, thoda. Shall we make one more example? Let's do that. Let's do that. So I am going to show or differentiate between two things. One is going to be me. Another is going to be, say, for example, a bird. How about this? Like, can you see this? So when I bring this, it's a macaw. Yeah. And this is me. It's a Mecca and it's a me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to go, I'm going to train the model. I click here, I click on new project and right after clicking new project, I close the old one. I click on image project. This is Vasu. I click on webcam and I show myself. Hi, that's me. Yeah, right after this, I go to class two. This is a macaw. I click on webcam and show the beautiful macaw over here. The vibrant macaw. I click and hold to record. I move it in all different directions. 55 image samples. And right after that, I click on add a class and, and I come over here. This is you with your macaw. Uh, this is not you. This is Vasu with a macaw. Did you understand? No, yeah, a little bit. I click on webcam. Now we both are here. How about this? I click on record and it's understanding if we both are here. That's it. 
now i click on what what am i supposed to do after giving all the data i'm supposed to click on train model yes you're right i click on train model now it gets trained slowly and slowly and slowly it is getting trained right after getting the training look at the students you'll be surprised to see how beautifully it works it will tell if it's me it will tell if it's i'm with ro yeah that should be meko you're right yeah see this is me hi yeah you can see that this is vasu it's able to say that i'm coming over here yeah now 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 let's bring the meko can we do that can we do that one two three slide here slide here slide here and you cut that Did you see that this is a meko i'm not being part of it the moment i come over here it is says that this is vasu with a meko <laughs> this is nice right how automatically it is able to understand because we have given the examples before itself whenever you prepare for your exams if you really want to remember the things students only one way to do is get as many examples as possible just like the way artificial intelligence work on a similar note human intelligence also work more the examples better is the understanding is that fine is that fine will you be able to do a program right after the students only notification is if you have to use google teachable machine you have to make sure that this particular uh, you know uh, google teachable machine is always on the computer or the laptop if it is there on say for example mobile phone it sometimes doesn't work or else if you have a mobile phone which is like a tab which is about 10.5 inches screen size then it will work on your tab as well ipads and all will perfectly work you have to go to google teachable machine and learn things it's a free tool did you like this yeah okay anyways i'll stop share the screen for some time i'll talk to you all and right after that one last tool and it's already time today yeah you know that this is called as google teachable machine perfect okay medhanch what's that i'm able to see something okay that's cool okay so anyway students so that was with respect to artificial intelligence we have not gone into depth we have just understood what machine learning is and what is very important for machine learning can somebody tell me the most important thing for machine learning what is that examples yes you're right data yeah you're right your data the more the number of examples better is the learning and you know what with multiple examples the computer will be able to understand where is your eyes where is your nose let me give you one example of computer understanding where your eyes is computer can think that this is also your eyes na but it doesn't think why because we have already given examples and because of that such features on zoom or even on facebook or whatsapp wherever it is will work are you able to see this how does the computer know that i have got an eyes over here because examples how does the computer know that i have got a nose over here <laughs> because of examples how does the computer know that my nose or ears no my ears are not here it's here right it, it it's a pig's ear over here i guess but still yeah and 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 how does the computer know computer doesn't know if i'm a boy or a girl that's a problem yeah it needs more examples <laughs> anyways i hope you understood a computer understands that these are my eyes and that's how it comes all these understanding happens only with one option called as data or examples i'll show you one last example and we will close for the day students and this is fun and interesting it's like a game but not a game but it's really fun would you like to see that yeah so let me quickly go over there we quickly go over there if you want to learn more about artificial intelligence and and the programming behind it you can also go to this website called as the ai playground you know there's something called as the ai the ai means artificial intelligence the ai playground.com and you can learn lots and lots of things over here or else or else if you would like to learn ai you would like to learn scratch if you want to learn mit app inventor all these things could be learned even from a summer camp that's being organized by visionaire iit bhubaneswar along with super teacher and if you want to register for that you can go to this website called as www.superteacher.in or else you can join this facebook group and the telegram group which is coming on the chat right now and you can enroll for that summer vacation or summer camp it's a 40 hours camp covering various different topics i'll be there along with you to learn on scratch learn on ai learn on python uh, we also have storytelling creative writing and lots more i would like to request everyone here to please subscribe to the youtube channel of super teacher official and also visit this website called superteacher.in to know more about the program will that be fine yeah here i am not able to talk to you right i am only talking but i am not able to get your questions and all because it's a youtube live event but in case of a training it will be a personalized attention we'll have a specific number of students batch if parents are out there if teachers are out there you can recommend your child for this particular program 
there are some offers going on the price is really really affordable you can check that in the website well let me come back to the point right after google teachable machine if you would like to know more about artificial intelligence you can come to the aiplayground.com and you can learn lots and lots of information yeah did you understand finally the last website of the day which is called as scrubly.com this is my favorite yeah if, if if there are primary class students over here you'll love this let me stop the video over here i click on start now what will happen is here some big big balloons will be there and whenever i move here on the screen that will also move over there okay are we ready watch this watch this watch this okay it's preparing the camera yeah it's fun students you should definitely try this after the class okay okay why am i stuck like this okay i'm waiting for it mm -hmm. okay let's wait for a few more seconds <laughs> okay now this is me i'm going to move on the right side see this <laughs> okay i'm going to move on the left side see this i open my mouth no ah uh, yeah kind of watch this watch this i'm going to turn on the background also and see this so if i raise my hands it also raise my hands oh, oh it raises its hands i come here i go here i do this and i do this look at the way i'm bending okay and i do all these things it will also dance along with me i can even turn off the background and i can still do it see this i've raised my hands i'm i'm just dancing you know i'm doing this and it will also do that so this is fantastic called as scrubly.com and it is a very good example of ai it completely understands what you are and how you are and it will perform an action only thing is you have to prefeed the data i'll tell you how to do that so here you can come on the right side completely at the bottom okay i look like a girl now yeah no okay i come and click on make your own yeah so here you can see that doodle your own the moment you click on doodle your own you can get a you know you will get a human face like this you can draw yourself so i am going to draw myself see this okay i go and i thin this i thin this i don't want to have a thick one i'm going to draw lips watch this okay 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 i do not know if it, if it looks like lips or what but still i've drawn something over there i again click on black and i try to draw eyes you can also do that and i color it a little bit okay i draw the eyes again this side and i color it a little bit Does, did it get colored i hope so <laughs> a little bit i have an eyebrow i have a nose and uh, anything else yeah let's draw some hands so what i'm going to do is i am going to draw some hands see this it's fun students seriously this is very very good right after that i have another hand over here and that's it and that's it i can have the thick ones and i can just you know have another layer of information i can thicken this you have you have to do the same thing right after this and right after doing this okay this is going to be pure fun this is done this is done yeah this is kind of done now i click on preview now you look at the camera it understood that that's me it has properly aligned myself and let me close the background who <laughs> see i'm laughing i'm trying to move my hands now can you see that my hands are getting moved hi but my head is going to my shoulders okay i able to understand but i'm looking at one different directions i am just raising my hands up and it is coming over here see it's able to understand how it actually you know how a human being looks like it's because of ai scrubly.com is a very good website to have fun like this if I, in fact you can actually record this and you can send it across to your friends i'm turning on the background see the background also whenever i take my hands up it will come like this it will come like that and it will move over here i close the background and i do this i'm moving my head up and taking my hands here and here that's great okay that's it that's it that's it i come over here i stop sharing the screen i close this okay and i come to zoom and i turn on my video what is this website we have seen just now scrubly.com i think some of you are there in scrubly.com if i'm not wrong right now right 
Okay, fine. So students, we discussed on lots and lots of websites today. The first one we started with, what did we start with? We watched some movies. You remember? Yeah, we watched three movies. What was what were what were the three movies that we watched? Transformers. Perfect. Right after Transformers, Real Steel. Yeah, you're right. Right after Real Steel, Baymax, Big Hero Six. You're right. Okay. Right after that, we understood there are three important robots. Categorization based on the control. A robot which need not be controlled. It is taking its own decision. Apna khud ka marzi. What is that robot called as? Autonomous robots. Perfect. Perfect. You're right. Autonomous robots. uh what was what was the second movie real steel it was actually taking its own decision no it was controlled by a human being from outside that robot is called as a manual robot or a tele operated robot perfect the third robot that we saw which is like what was it an an animation movie yeah baymax it's called as semi autonomous robot just like the way we have curiosity in the mars we have semi autonomous robots even on the ground uh right after that what did we do i forgot does anybody remember Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, rock paper scissors. <laughs> You're right. We understood how a computer works. We understood that. Hey, we understood Norvin also after that. I think. Yeah, we understood that when Norvin was a baby, what happened to Norvin and things like that. Thank you so much, Norvin. It was great interacting with you. You are such a sport man. I really love that. So right after that, you know, we understood that computer requires information. Norvin required his mother and father. Computer requires example. As simple as that. And this particular example that we feed to the computer is called as. data you're right it's called as data that's why it's called as data science that's it that's it that's it after that you know human become human intelligent machines become machine intelligent and that's why it's called as artificial intelligence that's it right after that what did we do what did we do we went to google teachable machine we made sure that the computer understands if it's vasu or if it's a meko you saw that right and right after that i was happy and that's it these are the two emotions i was not angry you can also make something like that on a similar note we went to another website called as ai playground i also told you about joining the super teacher training program called as curiosity and to subscribe the youtube channel for more videos like this and finally i also spoke about scrubly.com that was fantastic right you will be able to bend like this in all different directions that's it the session comes to an end students it was fantastic interacting with you again today in code india code day number 6 we have only one more day to go and that's the last day and tomorrow it's going to be fantastic we will have lots and lots of quiz competitions tomorrow i'm going to ask you questions i'll allow you to talk the chat will be enabled you can put it on youtube live i'll be there on youtube live as well i'll ask very simple questions not from your textbook that is the best part yeah if you ask questions from the textbook kon padh the textbook i don't like textbook yeah but what's more important is about the understanding of the concepts your questions will be completely on that of course to test your coding skills you need to have an attitude i want to make this robot that should be the attitude yeah let's do this students code india code day 7 i'll be waiting for you tomorrow at 7 o'clock wish to see you everyone out there right now take care have a nice time bye bye enjoy your time tevija ronak everyone have your nice time join super teacher training program at curiosity if you'd like to you can check for that in the website you can join the facebook group for more notification have a nice time i'll see you very soon take care good to see you yeah norvin was a baby today i hope norvin doesn't mind okay nishanti i saw that thank you <laughs> good job ashi bye vishwa bye devika bye suhani bye yashika samyukta vidushi that's great that's great good job students swarnakshi that's a nice name trisha that's great deepak that's a fantastic background man bye <laughs> Chalo have a nice time students i'll see you tomorrow back again okay yeah go and teach your parents about google teachable machine see you soon bye